Praise God, everyone. We are starting a new generation that is free from generational curses. One of the things I was discussing with you on how we can actually get rid of generational curses is repenting for the sins that were committed by our great-grandparents, our great-grandparents, our parents, and us. Those are four generations, because when God curses, he curses three to four generations. So I told you the fourth Fourth generations backwards is your great grandparents. So yesterday we were repenting to for that for their sins. And I was showing you scriptures which say that when you repent, you actually wash them away because his blood is sufficient. Secondly, I told you another thing you can do after the repenting is to try to live righteous. It's not none is perfect, but struggle to live righteous. Because I also showed you a scripture which was saying if you refuse to change. He actually, that, that now you start your own generation. You're washed away from what they did, but now you start starting, you start a new generation of curses, you yourself and your children are the first generation. You get it. Eh? You suffer the rebellion and then you carry it on to your children. So let's be mindful about whatever we do because we want to, to, to live happy. We want our children to live happy you know, be blessed. Now, the God we serve is a merciful God. He's not a God that keeps records of sin. Actually, the Bible says when he forgives, he forgives and forgets. You get it? Eh? So we're seeking him because he told us in Second Chronicles seven fourteen that if my people who I called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn away from their wicked ways, then I'll hear from heaven and I'll forgive their sins and heal their land. So yesterday we were humbling ourselves before him, praying, seeking his face, turning away from our wicked ways. You get it? Eh? And his word is truth so he does not lie so because we did that we believe that he had and forgave our sins and he is healing our land in Jesus's name you know in uh, in Isaiah chapter 1 verse 18 it says that come now let us he says God himself says come now let us reason together says the Lord though your your sins are though your sins be as scarlet uh, scarlet is um a brilliant red color, you know, that is indicating blood. Though your sins are as scarlet, they shall be as white as snow. Though they be like a crimson. Now, a crimson is that purplish red. It's a bit dark red. So even if your sins are dark as red, they shall be as wool. When you repent, God forgives. He says, come, let's reason. Yesterday, we were reasoning with him, telling him, look, they did this. My, my father did this. My grandfather did this. My grand-grandfather did this. I did this. We were reasoning with him. Hmm? And he says that even though we were stained as dark as red, he washes us as white as no as wool so one of the things about these scriptures is when you read them the faith that he wants from you is for you to actually understand and accept that he has actually forgiven you if you still doubt then his word is not truth to you and you've not believed so we are believing in faith that he forgave us you know and because he forgave us we are free and free indeed i'm going to read to you several scriptures that are going to lead us to today's prayer one of it is lamentations uh, chapter 3 from verse 1 to as long as i'll go now Lam lamentation talks about our situation that was before yesterday and what it's going to be starting from today on it says i'm the man who has seen affliction now that is us Mm? I'm the man who has seen affliction by the road of the Lord's wrath. He has driven me away and made me walk in darkness rather than light. Indeed, he has turned his hand against me again and again all day long. He has made my skin and my flesh grow old and has broken my bones. He has besieged me and surrounded me with bitterness and hardship. That's the things we are going through before we confessed yesterday all the things you i'm reading now hmm? i'll not break them down because it's 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 straightforward english eh? he has made me dwell in darkness like those long dead he has walled me in so i cannot escape he has weighed me down with chains 
Even when I cry out and cry out for help, he shuts out my prayer. That's what has been happening. Like we pray to him and he doesn't listen. Like our prayers don't go through. I've been telling me, Sandra, I pray and as if my prayers are just hitting a wall. It's because we've been so covered with sin that our prayers are rejected until we cleanse ourselves to be worthy. You get it? Eh? So it says, even, even when I call out and cry for help, he shuts out my prayer. He has barred me my way with blocks of stone. Tone, he has made my path crooked like a bear lying in wait like a lion in hiding he dragged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help that's you being in the wilderness you've been in the wilderness all these are happening because we sinned because our parents sinned because our grandparents sinned and our great-grandparents sinned this is what we've been going through because of that sin hmm? he dragged me from the path and mangled me and left me without help he drew his bow his bow and made me the great the target of his horror he pierced my heart those are the disappointments you've been getting and not getting married with arrows from his quiver you know i became the laughing stock to all my people they mock me in song all day he has filled me with bitter herbs and given me all gall to drink he has broken my teeth with, with gravel i've been deprived of peace i've been forgotten what pro i had pro forgotten what prosperity is you know like you had forgotten what prosperity was you were dwelling in poverty hmm? so i say my splendor is gone and all that i'd hoped for is gone and then verse 19 says i remember my affliction and my wandering the bitterness and the girl i well remember them and my soul is downcast within me yet this i call to mind and therefore i have hope now, from verse 1 of Lamentations 3 to almost verse 20, from chapter 1, no, from verse 1 to verse 21, it's actually talking about what has been happening to us before we confessed yesterday. You get it? Eh? Um, you remember when you read through the book, the Judges 6, we, it talks about when the children of Israel had rebelled towards God and he punished them for eight years. Eh? He sent in their oppressors to oppress them. And when they cried out to him, he sent an angel to them who told them what problem they had. And actually, he now met Gideon and told him, you were a mighty warrior. So go and and, re and fight. I'll be with you. You remember? So we were, we were like the children of Israel. We had really gotten away from God, right from our great grandparents to us, that all these generational curses had come. But then because we confessed yesterday, just like in Gideon's story, the angel of the Lord told him, you are a warrior. I send you in strength. So we are warriors. This scripture of Lamentations 3 is telling you in verse 22 that much as you've been everything it's talking about in Lamentations from verse 1 to verse 21. Now in verse 22, he's telling you because the Lord is great love, because of the Lord is great love, we are not consumed. Because of the Lord is great love, we are not consumed for his Passion never fails. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. I said to myself, the Lord is my portion. Therefore, I will wait for him. What does this mean? It means much as we had sinned, because now we understood the truth and we accepted that we had sinned and our forefathers had sinned and we took accountability for their sinfulness and ours. The Lord is great love with because of God's great love, we, we are not consumed, for his compassion never fails. So his great love has restored us, so we are not consumed into those things that have been holding us bondage. And his compassion never fails, but instead it's new every morning. So this morning we have new compassion from the Lord because of our repentance. And I've been telling you our theme for today is to start a new generation that is free from generational curses. I call it the new beginnings, the new beginnings. Um, and what am I trying to say? Uh, when you read Revelations, uh, when I was asking him about the new beginnings, he took me to Revelations uh, chapter 21 from verse 5 to something like um, like verse, verse 8. It says, he who was seated on the throne said, now that is God. And God is speaking to us today because the Bible says it's the same yesterday, today and forever. So it says, he who seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. 
Now these are the new beginnings I'm talking about. I am making everything new. Then he said, write this down for these words are trustworthy and true. He said to me, it is done. I'm the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty, I'll give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious I'll, will inherit all this and I'll be their God and they will be my children. But the cowardly, the unbelieving, the vil, the murderers, the sexually moral, those who practice magic arts, the idolaters, and all the liars, they will be consigned to the fiery lake of burning sulfur. And that will be the second death. So I, I want us to understand the fact that he has made everything new. It is done. He's our Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the author and the finisher of our faith. He has made everything new. So we are new in him. When you look at 2 Corinthians 5, it says, So from now on, we regard no one from a worldly point of view. Though we were once regarded Christ in this way. Uh, okay, therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the creation has, yeah, the new creation has come and the old has gone and the new is here. And this is from God who reconciled us to himself through Christ. Now, um, 2 Corinthians 5 is telling you from verse um, 17 that the old has gone. The old has been those records of sins. It has gone and now the new is here. We are in the new beginnings. We are starting a fresh page. We are starting a new generation. And it's saying all this is from God who reconciled us to himself. We are reconciled back to God by his blood that we were pleading yesterday. He's a ministry of reconciliation. And it says Christ and gave us the ministry of reconciliation. And God was reconciling the world to himself in Christ, not counting people's sins against them, you know. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are there for Christ's ambassadors. And God, we are making this appeal, is making this appeal through us. You get it? Eh? Uh, we implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who made no sin to be seen for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. So yesterday's um, teaching was about reconciling us to God because the sin had came and kind of drifted us away. And now that we repented and we are free and free indeed, it means we are starting new beginnings. So today, if you have faith that actually God forgave you, because the Bible says when you come to him, he forgives, you know. So if you have faith in you that God forgave you and this is a new beginning for you, a new beginning whereby there will be no more women not getting married. Instead, we shall see weddings in your family. It means there will be no more barrenness in your family. Instead, we shall see people giving birth. There will be no more rejection in your family, miscarriages, poverty, drunkenness, you know, spirit of lust, spirit of polygamy, spirit of incest. When we confess, he forgave. And when he forgives, he forgets. So we are now new creatures in him. We are starting a new generation. I am starting a new generation generation and my children are the first generation you know so tonight we are doing we are going for new beginnings we are starting a new generation and how are we starting it we are using our mouth to prophesy unto our life to prophesy unto our destiny because in the bible he says that he has given us authority over our tongue that it will create so we are going to use the power that is bestowed on our tongue to create into our future into the next generation into this generation in the name of jesus Father, Lord, we want to say thank you for this session. We want to say thank you for yesterday's session. We want to say thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. We take the forgiveness in Jesus' name. Because in the Bible you say when you forgive, you forgive and forget. Because in the Bible you say that if we should come to you, even though we are stained as dark as red, you will wash us as white as snow. Father, yesterday we were, by yesterday we were straight stained as back, dark as red because of the sins committed by our great grandfathers, our grandfathers our grandparents our um, our per our own parents and us ourselves but we went through a session of fasting yesterday whereby we were repenting our sins father we take the forgiveness in Jesus' name because you're not son of man that you should lie we say not to any evil that is trying to whisper to us telling to us that maybe we are not forgiven no we stand up and rise up against every word that is contrary to the truth 
that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Father, we receive the forgiveness. We believe that when you died, you were reconciled with us. And because you were reconciled with us, we are new in you. So today is new beginnings for us. Today we are like newborn babies before you. Today we are starting a fresh page. We are closing the old chapters of our great grandparents. We are closing the old chapters of our grandparents. We are closing the old chapters of our parents. We are closing the old chapter of our sinful life and we are starting a new life with you a new life of redemption a new life of breakthroughs a new life of 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 no barrenness of no failure of no rejection of no spiritual husbands of no generational curses of no spirit of poverty of no backwardness of no barrenness of no sickness we are starting a new life in you because the bible says that he that you set free you set free and free indeed so we believe that you set us free and free indeed father we receive that setting us free in Jesus' name we stand up against the enemy we now have the guts to stand up and go to war against the enemy because he has no point of contact on us because now we are new creatures in you because now we are starting a new generation If the past generation has been full of drunkard people, this new generation is going to be free from drunkardness. If the past generation has been full of women not getting married and men not committing, this new generation is going to be full of women getting married and men committing to marriages. If the past generation has been full of failure in marriages and broken marriages and divorces, this is a new generation that we've chosen where we shall have marriages holding to full time till death do us apart. There will be no no failure in marriages father you're going to come and stand and be a pillar in our marriages in the name of jesus if the past generations have been full of sickness recurring sicknesses of diabetes of cancer of of every sort of sickness father today we stand up and start a new generation that is free from sickness in the name of jesus it is new beginnings for us if the past generation has been full of people who work from january to december and they don't have something to show for their hard work father this is a new generation that you've created whereby we are going to start working and see the fruits of our hand and see us succeeding and prospering in the name of jesus if the past generation has been full of barrenness and important impotency this is a new generation that we've created today whereby father we are going to see women delivering women conceiving women putting to full time there will be no miscarriages in the name of jesus women will conceive the fruit of the womb in their wombs in the name of Jesus. Father, we rebuke every evil spirit that has been getting against us. We are new and in Christ today. Father, we declare a new beginning for us by the power you bestowed on our tongue. We declare a new beginning for us that we are new in you, that you've set us free and free indeed. So now we take over the authority over that you've given us to trample over scorpions and snakes and all evil spirits, that nothing shall touch us when we do. So we trample over everything that has been glorifying itself in our life that is darkness. Today we trample over every witchcraft that has been manifesting in our life in the name of Jesus. Today we trample over every spirit of rejection that has been manifesting itself in our lives. Father, we send our consuming fire over them. Father, we send our consuming fire over them. We have no point of contact with the enemy because this is a new generation that you've created. Starting from us to our children, we shall have peace in life. We shall have joy in life. We shall have fruitfulness in life. We shall have greatness in life because greater is you that is in us than he that is in the world. In the name of Jesus, Father, as we get into these new beginnings, Father, may you open doors to jobs. As we get into these new beginnings, Father, may you open doors to businesses. May you open doors to contracts. May you open doors to breakthroughs, financial breakthroughs. May you open doors, Father, to so many things that will expand us and make us great for your glory lord as we start new beginnings to you with you we say no to miscarriages we say no to barrenness we say no to impotence let there be men and women who will give who will bring forth children for your glory because you sent us to give birth and multiply in the name of jesus as we start new beginnings with you we say no to sickness those generational sicknesses father we rebuke it in that we rebuke them in the name of Jesus. We start up a new generation with you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. As we start a new generation, as we start a new beginning with you, Lord, we say no 
to the recurring spirit that has been making women not to get married. You find a woman in her 40s and 50s, she's not married. You find a woman in her 30s, she doesn't even have hope because the enemy had enslaved their generation into not getting married. Father, the same way you redeemed me from that old past, may you redeem every man and woman on this platform that has been failing to get married. May you redeem every man on this platform that has been failing to get mar to marry in the name of of Jesus. Let there be a series of weddings. Let there be a series of marriages coming through. Marriages that come from God. We chase away the time wasters. We chase away the time wasters. May you bring back the lost seasons. The seasons we've lost in the times we've been meandering in the wilderness. Bring back the lost seasons. There are people who missed their seasons. There are people who missed their seasons because of not knowing you. Because of not asking for direction. They missed their season. You are a God that restores, Father. May you restore back the seasons that the enemy had taken, because you said in the Bible that when we turn back to you, that you will refund back what the locusts have stolen. Father, as we are getting to new beginnings, we are crying out to you to bring back whatever season the locust has to had stolen, whatever love and marriage the locust had stolen, whatever money that the locusts had stolen. Father, may you bring it back a hundred folds for your glory in Jesus' name. We thank you for new beginnings we thank you for the new beginnings also brings up peace may you bring peace into the lives of those that are troubled because the bible says you're the prince of peace father bring peace into the lives of everybody that has been troubled in the name of jesus we take the new beginnings in Jesus' name we take the prophecy of the new beginnings in the name of jesus we are starting a new chapter whatever has been following us whatever has been a trend we uproot ourselves from that tree we uproot ourselves from that that tree we detach ourselves from those family trees we detach ourselves from the, the link that links us to a series of of bad things in the past because of our lineages we are going to be identified as someone different people will call us blessed they will say in the family of so and so that girl was the first. That man was the first. He opened the door that no man can close. As you open doors to new beginnings, let no man close. Because the Bible says when you open a door, no man can close. When you open doors to new beginnings, Lord, may you be exalted. We declare you as the Alpha and the Omega of our life, the author and the finisher of our faith, the beginning and the end. Take all the glory, Lord, as we partner with you. You said in the Bible, bring your hands put them in my right hand do not fear i'll help you so as we are starting new beginnings with you lord we are putting our hands in your right hand getting hold of you taking away the fear replacing it with faith and moving with you on this journey we know you're going to help us because your word says you will help us you're going to help us through poverty you're going to help us through joblessness you're going to help us through barrenness you're going to help us through impotence you're going to help us through sickness to health you're going to take to help us through limitations you're going to to help us through everything that has been holding us hostage by giving us new beginnings by opening up new opportunities by giving us redemption by giving us a smile on our face by bringing through peace in the name of jesus father i say thank you father i say thank you today on the platform i saw several women sharing about the spirit of incest as you forgive us from the spirit of incest and we are starting a new generation father i pray that everything that has been holding women and men backwards because of the spirit of incest because of the curse of incest may they be set free in the name of jesus may they be released from that family tree in the name of jesus we uproot them from that family tree we uproot them from that family tree in the name of jesus let the spirit of incest be barren in the name of jesus we rise up and resurrect from the dead we speak life into our dead bones whatever dead bone has been li lying in our lives whatever dead bones that have been lying in our businesses whatever dead bones have been lying in our health we speak life unto them we command them to stand up in a vast army we cry out to you that you will breathe life into them in the name of jesus thank you lord thank you for your faithfulness Father, thank you for your love. Thank you for your deliverance. 
thank you for your redemption. There are people who are sick and they are suffering from ailments that they don't even understand because of something that was initiated into them, because of witchcraft that was done unto them. Today, we send a consuming fire over every witchcraft that had been cast to anyone on this platform. We send a consuming fire upon against such witchcraft. May you burn it off in the name of Jesus. May you burn it off in the name of Jesus. May your people be free and free indeed in the name of Jesus that will glorify your name that even those that have been doing witchcraft on us they will actually understand that we actually have a God that is mighty in the name of Jesus. Let the new beginnings be new beginnings, Lord, that people will smile again. People will have hope again. People will be rejuvenated again in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for your faithfulness. Thank you for your love. No more limitation, no more lack, no more sickness, no more generational curses, no more poverty, no more something recurring. No, we are starting a new life in the name of Jesus. Father, there are people who have been having bad dreams. Today we stand up to rebuke every bad dream that has been manifesting itself in our lives. Of course, bad dreams are warnings from you. So whatever evil the enemy has been planning against us by sh- through the, the dreams you've been showing us, Lord, Father, we cancel them and render them powerless in Jesus' name. We hide ourselves under your mighty wing of protection where no evil one can touch. Father, we denounce every bad dream we've had, those that we remember and those that we do not. We trample over them and Bring them powerless in the name of Jesus. We are the children of the Most High God. He bought us with a price. We are doing new beginnings with Him because we are reconciled with Him. And because we are that, light and darkness does not meet. So we are the light. We have sanctuaries in our body for Him so that enemy cannot come closer to us because we are covered in His blood in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your faithfulness. Thank you for the new beginnings. Thank you. Let your peace that surpasses human understanding come into the life of anyone that is in pain, anyone that is at crossroads, anyone that is troubled, anyone that is broken, anyone that is in depression. May you restore them back to your glory. May you restore them back to your glory. The single mothers, let them start new beginnings whereby you're going to change their situations from being single mothers to being happily married in the name of Jesus. Where the children have been rejected by their fathers, as we cut off that generation of rejection, let those children be accepted by their fathers. May their fathers come and claim them. May their fathers come and provide for them. Even though they don't come back to the women, but Lord Jesus let them come back to the children but if it's your will for them to come back to the women may you bring back the men into their calling bring them back to their wives bring them back to their children bring them back to your calling that there will be a start of new generation whereby the families will be solid and together whereby families will be exemplary to the society whereby families will nurture the generation to come in love, in Christ, and in faithfulness. In Jesus' name, we stand against every tongue that is contrary to the word of God. We cancel every negative mindset that is contrary to the word of God. In the name of Jesus, thank you for the new beginnings. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Take all the glory. Thank you for the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for the reconciliation. Thank you for dying with us that we may be reconciled with you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for giving and forgetting. Thank you, Jesus. We look forward to the breakthroughs that are yet to come. We look forward to the testimonies that are yet to come. We look forward forward to the peace that is yet to come we look forward to the marriages that are yet to come we look forward to the restoration that is yet to come we look forward to the glory that is yet to come as you do new beginnings wash away the shame replace it with glory as you give glory to the people and bury away the shame let your name be lifted up high the devil is a liar we know he came to steal to kill and to destroy we refuse to be stolen from we refuse to be 
killed, we refuse to be destroyed. That's why we seek refuge under your mighty wing of protection, that the enemy cannot even touch us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.